In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. So we have x squared plus 4, and x is greater than or equal to 0. This part here is actually really important. So the first step is to replace our function with y. So y is equal to x squared plus 4. The second step is to switch the x and the y. This actually becomes x equals y squared plus 4. And the third step is to solve for y, so step 3. So we'll start by subtracting 4 from both sides, so minus 4, minus 4. These cancel, so we get x minus 4 equals y squared. I'm going to go ahead and write this as y squared equals x minus 4. All right. So now we take the square root of both sides. And whenever you take the square root of a variable squared like this, uh, the square root property says that you always get a plus or minus. So plus or minus the square root of x minus 4. So which one is it? Well, let's think about it. x, at the beginning of the problem, we said it was greater than or equal to 0. So it's right here. But then something amazing happened in step 2. It became y. That means that y is greater than or equal to 0. That means that we have to take the plus. Really sneaky. The last step is to rename our y using the proper notation for the inverse function, which is f inverse of x. And so this is equal to the square root of x minus 4. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.